so what quest are we going to do now? In the Shadow of the State is the next main quest. And I don't really want to muck around with these assignments on the side. I'm more interested in continuing the main mission. Especially because these are very simple things. It's not very interesting. Grow and harvest Fluxweed. Acquire all three combat plants from using simultaneously. Actually, we could probably grow Fluxweed now. While we're here. Empty pot. Oh, we have to get it first. There it is. A tall plant that produces stems and use fixes. Fluxweed seeds can be purchased from the magic neep. Must be grown in large pots. Okay, so we're probably going to have to get a little bit of bit of money and go there before we can do that. So you know what, let's just continue on with the main quest. That sort of stuff is very minor and not very interesting and I honestly I can do that off camera. But the main mission stuff is all the interesting stuff that goes on in the game. So we will just head on over to the next main mission. Go to the world map. Oh wow. This is a venture and a half. Okay, so I guess we'll teleport here and get on our broom and then go as far south as we can to meet Sebastian. So I thought he was going to meet us somewhere outside the castle. Oh, whoops. I thought he was going to meet us outside the castle and then he would just travel with us or maybe just like fast travel with him. But I guess not. I pop these balloons while I see while I see them here. There we go. So off we go. I gather this is gonna be a pretty uneventful ride. Oh look at the balloons over here. Wow. I didn't think there'd be so many balloons just hanging around. I thought that was more of a Hogwarts thing. At least by doing this, we're going to unlock a lot of the map. We'll go here. Because this will be another fast travel point we can unlock. Also, if we travel closer to the ground, we can go a lot faster. There we go. Yeah, this is this might actually be quicker. Because we get an infinite amount of this boost. Who lived here, I wonder? Can we go over this mountain? I don't know if we can actually go this oh we can. Oh hang on, there is a, another fast travel point here as well. Sick. Grab all these while I'm here. It's also just fun to pop the balloons. <laughs> Man, they really nailed the feeling of flying around on a broom though. Like, as soon as I picked it up, as soon as I started using it, it just felt so easy use, which is exactly how it honestly should feel. Here we go, another 500 meters. Grab these balloons as well, why not? So I guess they come in sets of five, and when you take out all the set, it gives you like a 50 XP experience. Yeah. <laughs> See myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection. Such arrogance. Man. This looks like trouble. Yeah, this looks like a maybe a higher level area. Let's get this. What's there, though? Oh, damn, it didn't unlock it. There we go. Run away. 
Oh man, that actually took off a fair bit of health. Let's just run over here. You made it. Okay, let's not talk to him before we take before we grab this fast travel point, because you never know what's going to happen. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Actually, just want to double check how much gear we have, because it might be worth selling a bunch of the stuff we don't use. Well, we've only got six out of twenty-four. Wow. Okay, I guess we only recently sold a lot of our stuff. All right, let's have a chat to Sebastian. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. All right, let's go. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier, with Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Here we go. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. What's wrong with her? I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Maybe she had a very spicy meal last night. Who knows? <laughs> So speak with Anne and Solomon. What's going that on, guys? I will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, but nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I wonder what she has I'm to say about, about it. earlier. Those bouts of pain are Rebellion. difficult to bear. What's this, actually? Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. Hmm, okay, just a letter. 
This is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Well, actually, before we have a chat to her, I just want to check if there is a food guide out here. It seemed like there was. Oh, there is. It's all the way over there. Rebellion. I'll be taking that. Oh, look at the... Like the practice dummies over here. Interesting. Why can I see the question mark field guides on the map down there? Practice dummies. Usually you can't see them on the map, but I guess you can? On in like the world, in the open world? Huh. There's a secret passageway behind this Rebellion. as well. Or maybe it's outside. Actually, I think it's outside. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Hmm. Unfortunate. Maybe we can do something to this Why person. Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Okay, I think we're about to go into battle. Okay, um... Alright, change your plans. I wanted to fix up my, my wheel here. So we've unlocked all the, the wheels um, that we could use. And I want to make the first one or two sort of like a battle wheel. If you know what I mean. Like, Levioso is good, maybe. Maybe Glacius. Not 100% sure which ones I want to use. I'm pretty sure I want to have, I want to have Sendio on there. Maybe we could have in finger as well. The only... The good thing about having every color, though, is some of the shields that get popped up. Like, I don't really have to go to a different wheel to use a color, because I've pretty much got all the colors sorted with this one wheel. However... I might put something else instead of this one, because these blue ones aren't really combat spells. So maybe like Confringo, a long range bolt, or Expelliarmus. Maybe Expelliarmus because. 
Hang on, before we continue. I'm pretty sure there's a skill. I'm not sure if I unlock I've unlocked it yet. I think I did. But you can actually take someone's weapon and hit them with it. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, is it this one? No, that's Confringo. I know there's a spell that does it, that when you... When you Expelliarmus someone's weapon, you can then hit them with the weapon. Maybe I've already unlocked it. No, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I'm going to invest any more points just yet, though. Until we get to level 22. So yeah, as I was saying, I think this is fine. We've got... Defindo. I think that's what it is. No, hang on. Expelliarmus down the bottom. Then we've got Incendio on the right. Leviosa up top. And this one on the left. Seems good. Let's up go. There, on that plateau is where they cursed Anne. This way. Oh. Alright, let's go. We're about to run into some... We expected to dig through this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honour to be a part of it. Ooh, what's up, mate? So you might we're actually pretty powerful. Or at least it feels like it. Alright, let's go up here and help someone. How nice of you to stop I won't rest. That's easy enough. You've made your last mistake. You fight about as well as a puff skein. All right, settle down, mate. <laughs> If you do that, you can sort of hit two with one with one ancient spell. <laughs> There's one more down there, I think. Wow, there's a lot of them, aren't there? Ooh, that hurt. Nice. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. I think that went actually okay. Didn't go too bad. There's a lot of people there, though. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly... An icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. 
might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations Rebellion. for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Maybe we could repair something? We're gonna have to set some spells up here. So I want this one, I think I want Repairo here. Lumos. Repairo. Nothing. Rebellion. What is this exactly? Whose home was this? Bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Oh, yeah. What have we got here? This well looks familiar. Revelio. Does it? Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. Oh, true. What do you mean? From the, the flashback. Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. I remember as well now. It's where that, that lady, like those people came appeared on the hill and they made everything green again in the flashback or not necessarily a flashback, but that vision that they had. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. A coincidence? Rebellion. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Uh, okay, hang on. Depulsor. Huh, a stairwell. Rebellion. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for now. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father, who had lost a child, I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong, I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would to be rid them of their torment. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Are we going to read them all? If you want to read it, you can pause it. I think I'm going to keep it going. 
Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Oh, oh, it's those bloody things again. Okay, hang on. Lumos. Revelio. What do we do here, though? Explore the cellar. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to make these chairs disappear. Maybe. I don't know. Incendio. That didn't really do much. Oh, that did though. Revelio. What is that mirror? You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Here we go. Into the Undercroft. So this takes us back to Hogwarts, right? Under that room. In that room that he showed us previously. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Huh. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Oh, so that's it then. In the shadow of the estate. Rebellion. How do I get out of this place again? Ah, oh, here. Practical. I could, we could just fast travel, but this is going to take me back into the, into the Hogwarts castle anyway. Hmm. And I think this was the last main mission that we had available to us, so I wonder what that is going to unlock now. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. 
Okay.